This is Friday and I went, I called today Fabulous Friday and I went out and I went to Lowe's just on a whim just to see what they had there. I actually wanted to pick up some bulbs and lo and behold, what did they have? Apple trees, apple trees on sale, 50% off. And then I ended up buying this um, apple tree here. It's tangy green urban apple, urban apple tangy green. And um, it is a, it is not a self pollinator. It needs um, another apple tree or other apple trees to pollinate it. I just purchased that apple tree that has the Granny Smith and some of the other pollinators on it. So this tree is going to do very well. And here I decided, well, I'll get another one just so that they can both possibly pollinate each other. And this one is a tasty red urban, urban apple, tasty red. I bought that other apple tree that has five different varieties on it and some of the varieties that they're saying that needs to be for the pollination are um, An Anna, Cortland, Dorset, Fuji, Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, Jonathan McIntosh, Red Delicious, Smoothie, State Fair, Super Gold and on that other tree I definitely have the Macintosh, I have the Granny Smith, I have the Golden Delicious, and I think I have, and I have two others that I don't remember at this off the top of my head, but this is great because it was 50% off. This is, this was, this was $39.98. For this so I got it for um, half price for both apple trees and I'm so happy about that so I'm really creating a food forest and I'm gonna have my little apple orchard with my pear my plum and my peach tree yeah my plum trees because I have two um, and I was able to pick up these rhododendrons, which is great because I want to put the rhododendrons in the back with the hydrangeas. And um, Borsalt Rhododendron, $8.98, and it too was 50% off. And it blooms in the spring summer, which is great. So when this is finished blooming, when these are finished blooming, then the hydrangeas will take up the the rest of the summer into the fall with their blooms. So I'm excited about this. I got three of them and they were $8.98 and I got them 50% off as well. So I think I did a great haul here of plants and my um, dream is coming to pass. Yes, on this beautiful sunny Friday afternoon so I'm excited about this this is a good thing <laughs>
Yeah, and I just love them too. I love the plumes. Mm, it's just really pretty. And then as you go around, you see the peach tree. Peach tree is growing pretty nice here. Then we have my apple tree. Now that apple tree is a self-pollinator, but also it will be able to pollinate those other two trees that are not self-pollinators because I have a Macintosh, Granny, Gran, Granny Smith apple, and some other trees that, um, you know, that are um, grafted into this one tree here. And then here is the fig tree right there. The fig tree that I'm going to have to move. And, and my... Um, pear tree, my Asian pear tree. It's planted right here. Um, I missed the other fig tree, but there's another fig tree over there too. So it really starts um, over here, right from the corner. Right over there from the corner right there, that fig tree. Oh. The one thing I have to say about this area here is that the soil is extremely rich, very fertile soil. Um, the, we used to kind of put a lot of leaf mold here. Um, leaves, they decayed over time and um, anything that's really planted in this area grows well because of the, the good soil. And because of the location too, it, the trees will get plenty of sun um, from both angles. They'll get plenty of sun. For more videos on my food forest permaculture and also on the gardening and flowers and all that we're doing here in this journey, subscribe to Catherine's Garden. Thank you.